Hello everybody, um, my name is Caboose195, or so my name, it's my uh, Minecraft username, and today I'll be showing you guys how to build um, a combination lock for a door or something. I still have of Captain Sparkle's video, I'm not sure you guys seen, but I've put a few more additions on to make it uh, better, which I'm hoping you guys will enjoy. First of all, I'm going to show you guys some of the um, logic gates we'll be using. First one, very simple, is an inverter. Inverter is used simply when you want say, something to do the opposite, really. So if I turn on the lever, um, but I want this, well, I want something to actually turn off, I use an inverter. Very simple to make. Simply have redstone leading up to a block here where you put the um, torch on and the redstone leading from the torch. Let's see what happens. I turn on the redstone wire, which deactivates the torch, deactivating this piece of redstone. Very simple. Alright, second now, we have an AND gate. This is very useful if you want something to require two different inputs in order to activate. Set up simple, three cobblestone blocks. You want to put down your two torches first and a redstone in between, and put a torch down here. Because this redstone is active, this torch is not. Now if I turn on one lever, it deactivates this torch, however because this redstone torch is still active, this wire is still active, meaning that is not active. So however when I turn off this, both wires are turned off, turning on this piece of redstone here. Very useful for lots of things. Now this is a little bit more complicated than the um, other two, however it's uh, fa fairly, fairly easy really once you understand what to do with it and how to set it up. So what you want to do, you want to have two pieces of cobblestone like so, put down your torches and lay down your redstone depending on what you want on to begin with. And so what, hap what, you wa what happens is when you turn on the lever it deactivates this torch which deactivates this redstone wire which activates this one meaning you can use um variety of thing like uses for this uh, one which I'll show you soon and in this case it'll be using the inverter it will turn on this door so I'll do that and you see it turns off this here turning on the door and then when I turn this off however it does not turn the door still stays open so I set up another piece of redstone this time I'm going to do that wire which then reverts it back to its original state. Now I will go sleep now, but I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's uh, daytime, and this here is the combination lock. It looks pretty daunting when we don't you guys, I'll run you through each individual step. So let's try it out first. Combination is two, three, one, four. I hit enter and voila, I get through safely. Now let's quickly display what happens when I get it wrong. So I do just three and four. I'll wait around for a minute and I die from the lava, very unfortunate. Okay, so I've respawned again. Uh, let's go back to my um, redstone combination lock thing. And okay, so I'm gonna run through what happens when I do each individual thing. So first of all, I'll show you guys how it's all how the first part is wired up. All the buttons are um, wired up to two things. They're wired up to an AND gate and to an RS NOR latch. Uh, so you see 2 is wired up to the first one, as that is um, the first number in the sequence. 3, second, um, first button, third RS on latch, and fourth button, fourth RS on latch. Also, also wired up to an, um, an AND gate, however, I will tell you guys about that later. So let's see what happens when I press 2. So 2 was activated. Reversing, so you see this um, this side is the active side. Uh, this is now reversed it, so deactivating this part of the um, redstone. 
And what this allows me to do then is, as this is now deactive, deactivated, um, I can now turn off this one. As if this part of the redstone is active, this here, this redstone torch will remain off always, and this one will always remain on. So you have to have to um, do them all in order, otherwise it's be stupid. So I can't just do four next. So I'll do three quickly, and then I'll show you what happens. I do three. So now that uh, three, so now three is on a similar thing, or the second iron latch is on the same as one. Turning off this part of the redstone here, meaning I can now do it to the other other two. So I'll quickly do that. In case you're wondering, guys, um, I'm using Zombies Flying Mod. I'm sure you already pronounce that, but uh, there's a bit of spelling error on zombies, but it's uh, pretty useful. Okay, so now they're all active or deactivated, rather, at least this side. So, because now this side is all deactivated, this redstone wire here, which would have been turned on, is now off. Change it through to an inverter, turning it this on and deactivating this side of the AND gate. And what this allows me to do then is when I hit enter what will happen is it will deactivate this side of the AND gate turning on this, this here runs through to another RS NOR latch which turns off this here um, turning on this redstone torch sending through a repeater which will then deactivate the RS NOR latch and it also carries on through here, um, opening the door. It also, also goes down here, but I'll explain why that is in a second. So now, um, another, another thing which happens when I press enter is it goes up around here, all the way around to the beginning, and it applies power to this redstone torch which uh, deactivates, which resets the entire thing. Now, so that's what happens if I get it right. So now if I get it wrong, like if I was to just press it, well, so I'll, press, I'll show it now, you can see, um, you can see it go around there, deactivating it, closing the door. If I was to get it wrong, like press it now, it will open up this, and what happens is, is, um, First of all, this is not activated, uh, and this becomes deactivated. This here becomes deactivated anyway. However, because this is not activated, this here can actually uh, do something. So yeah, so now this here will um, carry on through here. Little little delay. I'll tell you why in a second. And it basically deactivates all this redstone, causing. Um, pistons to retract revealing a lava pit. Now however, this here gets deactivated regardless of whether you get a combination right or not. So what happens is is when this is the um this redstone here, this uh, these repeaters here are timed very specifically so that both of these here this one here will basically turn off turning this on. So these both so um when this here deactivates, this here becomes active, meaning that it remains open. Um, so now I'll show you guys what happens when I what I do with the AND gates over here. So now, usually what could happen is I'll, I'll show you guys now actually. Let's quickly get rid of some of this redstone. Is um when I, what I could essentially do, is just <coughs> pre do one, two, three, four, you know, three times, and it will work. I'll show you guys now. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. As you know, I only need to do it twice because of my um, combination. So now, as you can see, that has turned off even though I've done a complete wrong combination and it, the door will now work. 
So to counter that and cause it to reset every time you hit a, the wrong one, apart from the first one, I think it was the first one, but so it's all wired up now. What happens is when I hit, when I do, when I enable my um, first RS null latch, so number two, which is here. Um, it will first the redstone will pass through here deactivating this part of the redstone which activates this torch and just a bit before that um, with a little, little delay the redstone also goes around here delayed by this redstone and disables that and what happens basically is if this redstone is off at the same time as this one which I'll show you guys now. I could be quick. I might um I might increase the delay here quickly. So I'll increase the delay so I can quickly show you guys what happens when I um do the wrong one. So I, I'll hit number one. Um, what has happened? Oh, I have to put one there. But okay, so is that is it reset? No, good. So um, I'll hit number one again, and this time hopefully some more success. And you see, it fires a redstone f thing through here, and because it has no effect on the RS nor latch. This is still off, so this here turns off, this turns on, sending a signal through to this part here, resetting the entire thing. So that prevents any just spamming and getting it right. Last thing, simple reset button, very simply wired up to here, just in case you're not sure of what you've done and just want to make sure it's back at the beginning. But that is all for now guys, um, I'll be doing a lot more videos now because all my exams finished, so please subscribe if you found this useful, and comment and like, thank you.